What's up guys? So the Auto Shop Life finally got a new snap-on guy. Uh, seems like a pretty cool guy, younger guy, went on his truck. He actually got a brand new truck um, from, from financing. So met him yesterday, yesterday was Thursday, went on there, grabbed a few things. Just figured I'd hit you guys with a, with a quick haul, show you guys what I got. A couple tools that I've uh, actually been wanting for a while now. So let's get into this. It's cold morning, cold Friday morning. Four degrees out, real feel is negative 28 or whatever it says. So I got the snap on heated hoodie on, trying to stay warm till the shop warms up. But let's get into this, I'll show you guys what I got. guys so I picked up a few things off him uh, mostly because I wanted to get into that dream drive so I got a few tickets on that I think he gave me uh, I don't know 10 or 11 or 12 of them I can't remember but uh, I'm sure he'll give me more next week but broke the ice he's seen the he's seen the box um, he was real impressed I guess my I guess my old snap-on guy kind of gave him the 411 over here and uh, you know, I told him. I told him when he shows up that uh, we stop production and deal with uh, Snap-on. Snap-on comes first. But I picked up the uh, the torch, the high power one. There's two different kinds of these: the uh, torch 300 and the torch 400. But I got the 400 mostly for uh, heating up bolts and things like that. Um, you know, these are not these are not for you know shrink tubing and things like that. Mostly want to use the lower lower temperature ones or a heat gun for shrink tubing. But picked up this, seems real nice. I actually cheated and uh, peeked in there to kind of see what was in here. But it's got some cool stuff in here. Um, let me get you guys set up on the tripod and uh, we'll run through some of this stuff. All right, guys. So I got my hands free now. But some of the specs on this, 30 minute run time. It's got the, uh, the gas viewer gauge. I think most of them have that now. Um, I know the uh, I know the butane torch, the soldering torch has that, or the soldering gun has that. But uh, nice trigger, nice lock. It's actually bigger than you would think. That's how it comes. It's got the instructions, all that. Probably where to fill it and all that. But here's the lock for it in the back. Just click it, and it's got the adjustment on here. Huge snap-on badging on there, and then a big wide tip here. But picked up that. Pretty nice. That's where you fill it down there. And it's got a view window on both sides. So you'll know when you've got it all the way full. And you'll know when it's getting low. <clears throat> so that's that one. And then the main attraction here. <clears throat> the double EDM 596 FK. Um... I've been looking at since the uh, the tool show. Haven't had a chance to get it. My older, my old Snap-on guy obviously didn't have it on a truck because he knew he was about to retire, so he wasn't about to buy this. But this guy had it on his truck. Um, when I walked down there, I saw it, and he actually gave me a pretty good deal on it too. So haven't even got into it. Can't wait to uh, put this through the ringer and uh, see what this thing's all about. But just kind of want to do a quick unboxing on it and show you guys what's in the package. Some of the specs on here. This one uh, is Bluetooth enabled. It is a true RMS. Um, I kind of peeked in there and see what it come with. Obviously your standard leads, temperature probe, all that good stuff. I think it's got an RPM, uh, RPM meter. But let's see what's in this thing. Comes in a nice little soft case to go along with the other soft case that I got. It's got a handle on it. Open it up. And then you got your standard instructions here. 
Here's the actual unit itself. Looks like it's got a little cutaway compartment for it so it doesn't bounce around in there if you're walking around with it. Comes with the temperature probe. It's got, um, I believe this is just the, uh, the instructions here. You would think it would be like an update USB, but I believe it's just the instructions so you don't have to have a huge Bible in here with some of the stuff. User manual. Here's the RPM pickup. It's got your standard banana connectors. And then we got the, looks like some alligator clips in here and the actual test leads. Now are these, yeah, these got the changeable tips on there. So you could switch them out for the alligator clips or if you're using if you're using back probes you could put the adapter on there and put a back probe like a longer back probe on there so that's nice these are nice leads so and they look pretty long and then here is here's your uh, alligator clips negative and positive looks like it oh and then you could adjust this it's like it's on velcro so you can move it up and down I kind of like it on the top here and then here's the unit you got all the settings your volts AC DC it's got the low pass filter on here millivolts you got your ohms you got your Hertz so you could uh, use it as a DDM to tune uh, sound systems and things like that for sound obviously temperature micro amps and things I'm not sure what that one is but yeah Pretty nice colored screen. Got all your buttons here. We've yet to get into this, guys, but it definitely seems nice. It's not too big. Maybe the size of a seven or eight inch tablet. And then on the top here, it looks like you got the spot to put the test leads in. They got this little strap underneath, probably to uh, probably to hold probably to hold the uh, the leads got a little kickstand on it but yeah that's the unit guys I can't wait to uh, get into this thing looks like it's a uh, pretty touch sensitive picking up readings there already like that colored screen so but yeah nice resistance on the uh, dial here too it's not like you gotta force it in there but you definitely feel it looks like the screen is actually kinda cold so you can see it's kinda miss I don't know if the camera's picking that up like right there, the zero and the four where it's jumping around. It's kind of faded, probably because the screen's cold. <clears throat> it's still cold in the shop here, guys. But, yeah, that's that one. So I had to run a quick one for you. Haven't done a, haven't done a tool haul um, in a while. I was actually going through uh, Snap-on withdrawals there for a bit. But this guy does seem cool. I did mention our YouTube channel. Uh, he seems pretty cool about going on the truck. Yesterday he had a guy with him probably uh, probably going with his route, probably his manager or something like that. Believe it or not, those franchisees guys actually have managers that uh, they work for and things like that. You would think, you know, buying into the franchise, you would think they're the owner, they can do whatever they want, but they do have managers, they do have teams that work for them. So, you know, and maybe guys they still got to answer to. But the guy definitely seems cool. Um, he's into social media. He's got a Facebook page and all that good stuff. Um, we'll definitely be checking out his truck. Maybe have you guys, uh, we'll do a quick tour of his truck, show you guys what those trucks look like when they first get them, you know, buying into the franchise and how they set them up. You know, the truck, I don't think was brand new. I think he got it with a few miles on it, but I mean, to walk on a truck and see all those new tools and the new lighting and all that stuff. I mean, I, my guy was old school. Like I said, he still had the old lights, the halogen lights. I mean, you could barely see, you guys heard in my other videos, you'd have to go on his truck with a flashlight trying to see some of the tools in the back. I mean, this one was nice and bright. 
He's got uh, he's got a bunch of carts that he has. I guess he runs another route. So this guy seems real cool. I can't wait to get on his truck and maybe do a snap on uh, truck tour or something like that. Get him involved in all that stuff. He doesn't seem camera shy, so we'll we'll break the ice on him easily. We won't rush him into it. So maybe after a few weeks of spending some money with him, showing him that we don't play around here at the auto shop life, he'll let us go on his truck and uh, check some of that new stuff out. And once he gets some new inventory, some of that inventory on his truck is like uh, beginner things. You know, they kind of load you up with the stuff they think you're gonna sell, but a lot of the nice stuff, a lot of the stuff I already have, but a lot of nice stuff that I'm not used to seeing on the trucks. So. But just a quick one, guys. I'll run through this uh, advanced uh, multimeter, do a review maybe in a couple months or something like that, and put this thing through the ringer, hook it up, check out the uh, Bluetooth functions and all that stuff. I'll make sure to get that on the channel once I start using it. Obviously, retire my old multimeter now. That's going to be my go-to for now on, um, just to see what it's about, see how the uh, see how the specs are, see maybe compare it to a multimeter or compare it to. Uh, my lab scope or something to see how true uh to see how true the readings are how accurate the readings are and things like that but i'll make sure to give you guys an update on that thing it seems like uh it seems well built hey anything snap on diagnostic related you know is going to be a great tool so but as always guys got to wrap this one up get to work like comment subscribe if you haven't already check me out on instagram at casper tech 54 we will catch you guys in the next one signing out